Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can work with the bivariate normal distribution in SPSS. Now, I've created a small uh, data file for myself with some values for x1, uh, for x2 and uh, rho. And I would like to calculate the bivariate standard normal cumulative density function and the bivariate standard normal probability density function. Um, if you're more interested about the background about this distribution, then please check my website where I explain a little bit about the distribution itself. This is just about how to calculate these values. I can do this by going to transform and then compute variable. I then uh, select the target variable, which is going to be for me the bivariate standard normal cumulative density function, but you can give it any name you like. And for the expression, I'm going to go to the function group. It's a cumulative density function. And be careful not to select binom, because that's binomial. Uh, but what we need is the BV nor, uh, which is the bivariate uh, normal distribution. So if you double click on that, it will actually be entered in here. And as you can see, it actually asks for three things, quantity one, quantity two, and the correlation. So my quantity one is x1. I then use a comma to separate, then x2, and then another comma, uh, there's probably also a comma here somewhere, but I can't see it, so I just type it in, comma, and then uh, the correlation, which is the row value. I click on OK, and because I already have a variable named BSNCDF, it asks me to change it, so that's OK. And there we go, we actually have all those values right there now. As you can see, there are far more decimals, so if you want to see those, you can go to the variable view and simply increase the number of decimals to four, for example. And now you see the first four decimals, but there are actually more of them. For the bivariate standard normal probability density function, which is actually also scale, uh, that will simply give me the height at that, uh, at that point. And for that, I can again go to transform, compute variable, I can reset everything and retype now that I want the bivariate standard normal probability density function. And that is hidden under the PDF version, so PDF for probability density function. And also here, be careful to go for the BV nor, not the binom. So if I double click on this, again, I enter the three parameters that it wants me to enter. So there's one, there's the second one, and the row my correlation is the third. I click on OK. Again, it asks me to change the existing variable, which is fine. And now I have also the height at that particular point in the bivariate normal distribution. And that's how you can work a little bit with the bivariate normal distribution in SPSS. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.